Today we are cleaning a tuba. The tuba that I have is a rotor valve mirror phone. If you have a piston valve tuba, you might want to check out the euphonium cleaning video for um, what to do with pistons. For now I am pouring water into the slides so we can properly clean them out. The hardest part about cleaning a tuba is that it is so big. You might even consider um, taking it outside and using your garden hose to run water through it. So you wouldn't have to worry about <laughs> damaging anything. It gets very heavy whenever it fills up with water. Now you're taking a pipe cleaner and um, add some dish soap to it and we're going to brush out that mouth pipe. And before I forget, I'm going to rinse it out. Now we're going to take a bigger pipe cleaner, make sure that it easily fits. Um, do the same thing with the slides. You can see I haven't taken the rotors out or the levers. Um, it's best to get that uh, get those cleaned by a professional. It can be hard to reassemble them. Rinse everything out. Don't want to leave any soap in the instrument. Rinse everything out as best you can. pipe a good rinse. It can be easy to forget because it's not with all the other slides. Now comes the fun part. You have to get all the water out of the instrument. Here I'm testing you know, how heavy it is. Um, getting a lot of water out of the slides right there on the top and my camera messed up um, and I didn't get the rest of uh, emptying the instrument so 
you want to try to turn it, get all the water out. It's very heavy. Um, try not to drop it, obviously. Next, we're going to the sink where I have let the slides um, soak in so that soap and water. Going to want to rinse them out, get all the soap out, and then dry them off because there's still a lot of grease on this um, on these slides. Want to wipe all that old grease off. You're gonna to want to set it and let it all dry completely before continuing with the video. I took it over to the table where you can see it just barely fits and I'm going to add some slide grease to the sides. I'm going to take the slide and use this motion to help evenly distribute the grease that's on the side and to help break up some corrosion. there's uh, too much slide grease and it, it goops up to the end, you can just wipe it off with a towel like I did. Now we're going to oil your valves. We're going to oil it in a few places, the first being um, right here. Not my back. Yes. No. Yes. No. Right there. There's a part that uh, moves when you press the lever. And there's a part that doesn't move. You want to put some oil right in that crack. Anytime there's metal moving against metal, you want to add some oil because it helps that metal move. You also want to oil inside of the valve. 
like this. You add several drops of stream to the main slide and tip it up. Goes down in there and goes into the valve. it around like that to make sure it coats the entire rotor. We're going to do that for all of the, of the valves. The reason that we <coughs> the reason that we add um, the oil inside of the slide and tip it up is so you do not get any of the um, slide grease into the valve because once you add the oil it will um, it can take the grease all the way into the rotor and it, it causes some issues. Next place is under the bottom valve cap. Take all of them off, or one at a time, whichever you prefer. If they don't come off, you can take this to your band director and they might be able to help you. They should have a video of that as well. Add some oil to that um, that little bump. If you were to press the rotor lever, you'd see that it moves. You want to make sure you, you get enough oil in that. Add the cap back on. Next, getting right here, like I said, where metal uh, is moving against metal, you're going to want to add some oil. Just a little touch, it doesn't take, doesn't take much. There you have it. 